Hey, what's new and exciting? It's Kevin O'Shaughnessy here, and today I'm going to talk to you about how sometimes the best way to create a guitar riff is to just get out of the way. So a number of years ago, I wrote a tune called Save Me, which back in those days, I was heavily influenced by Dave Matthews' band. But thanks to a couple of great musicians, namely Clark LaPlante on the drums and Jeff Sobin on bass, I was able to turn it into a little bit more of a funky, hard rock metal kind of thing so that it fit in perfectly with the rest of the tunes on my album, Persistence of Vision. So first, let me play you the riff, then we'll break it down instrument by instrument. Now, as you can hear, there's not much to the riff. It's literally just guitar, bass, and drums. So let's listen to the bass. Now, when we add the drums, it sounds like this. Now that's a pretty active rhythm section right there. So the question became, what kind of guitar part can I put over that that's going to enhance it in some way without actually stepping on the parts? Now, there were several things I could have done, but I decided to just hit the accents of the riff. And that sounds like this. Hopefully you can hear that even though this is just a one measure riff, there's a lot of color changes going on which help propel it forward. So one of the most important lessons to be learned when arranging a song is figuring out exactly what parts need to be emphasized and what parts need to be left alone. In this case, even though I'm the leader of the band and the, and the guy whose name is on the album, the best thing for me to do as a guitar player was to just shut up and let the rhythm section do their thing. So. That's all for now. If you want to learn more about me, you can visit kevinoshaughnessy.com. The link is below. And if you want to get a free download of this song, you'll find that link down there as well. In the meantime, I've been Kevin O'Shaughnessy. I'll catch you in the next one.